Hello everyone. Um, this week I decided to do a sand painting of this postcard that was sent to me by Ian Y. Gath or Ian e. Gath. And I decided to do a sand painting of it because I thought it was so pretty and I like it so much. So I've gone ahead and sketched it, as you can see, onto a white canvas. First of all, I painted the canvas with a white acrylic and covered it. And then I did my drawing on top of the white canvas. So I'm going to do one color at a time. As you can see, there's several colors in here. And then I'm gonna put sand on those. But this time, instead of covering the entire canvas with sand, I'm only going to do the drawing and then leave this part as a base as white acrylic so the bird will stand out on my white acrylic base and hopefully <laughs> it will look like this when I'm finished so we will talk to you guys later I'm going to go ahead and fill in the black and I'll show you one color at a time I'm starting with the black first because the black pretty much outlines as you can see outlines the bird so that will help me fill it in a little better so I'm going to do all the black part first so I'll get back with you as soon as I get that filled in okay now you can see that I have colored in all of the black on the bird in the postcard so all of the black is done so what we're going to do next is, I think I'm going to do, um, it doesn't matter which color you pick because you got to color it all in. So let's do, let's do the yellow. We'll do the yellow parts on the bird. So we'll do all of the yellow that's going to be on the bird and I'll get back with you when I paint all the yellow spots. Okay, we have finished our yellow. So we're gonna continue to the next color. And I think I'm gonna pick the green. You see the green in there. So let's do the green. It is a, like a medium color green. And then a much lighter, like a turquoise color green on top. So let's do the medium green and move on to the next phase. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, we have finished our green color. You see the little green that we put in. Copied from this picture. So now we have our green in and our yellow and our black. So next, let's do the tan color. So I'll be right back. Okay, we have the tan on. That just took a moment. So we're getting closer. Now we're going to put on the light, the very pale green and the red color after that and uh, we pretty much have all the colors on so let's get the pale green on and see what it looks like okay guys we're getting really close all we have left to put on here is the red then we can do the sand and then we'll see the finished project. But uh, I think so far it's turning out pretty good. Here's the postcard and the painting. So we'll put the red on next and we're just almost done. I'll be with you in just a moment. I am done with the painting part. All of the colors have been added in and uh, here's the postcard that I was copying and I think we pretty much nailed it here guys 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do each individual section with sand and add the colored sand to the picture. And I'll show you the end result. And you remember how we did it before with Elmer's glue and a small paintbrush and you just paint the glue on, put on your sand, dust it off, and you should have your sand on your painting. So I'm going to go now guys, I'm going to fill this all in with sand and I'll let you see the end result. Okay, this is the end result. This is after all the painting is done and the sand has been applied, the colored sand, and this is our end product. So this is, I can add this to my collection of Native American sand paintings. And here's the original. This is the postcard that Ian sent me. So there you have it. The sand painting is complete. And that's it for this time. And I will talk to you again next week with a different painting. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you watching, and uh, you have a good night, good day, good morning, wherever you are, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.